in the 1970s there was a big oil crisis which was politically inspired and um, motor racing just finished. You couldn't drive your car, people queued for petrol, people would kill each other to get five litres of petrol. It was a crazy, crazy time. You know, and some friends of mine who were into motor racing, we were sitting around saying, well, what can we do? Let's not make this about how fast you can go. Let's, let's do something about how far you can go on how little fuel. And um, one thing led to another, and uh, my dear friend Hans Tolstrup, uh, with the racing driver Larry Perkins, they built a bathtub. Uh, they built a solar car, it looked like a bathtub. And they drove from Perth to Sydney. They called it the Quiet Achiever. Nobody quite knew what it was going to do, what it was going to look like, but they thought, hey, let's give it a go. And when Hans first promoted the idea of running a solar car race across Australia from north to south, um, people like Honda and uh, General Motors in the US were inspired by this and they put their corporate might behind it and built some magnificent cars. It's a fantastic piece of road, 3,000 kilometres with virtually no traffic and certainly no, uh, no corners in it and uh, it runs from north to south which is uh, very good for solar insulation, it's very fair in that case, uh, it's very flat. You know, there's, there's, there's a couple of sections of road where there's almost 50 kilometres dead straight, dead flat, no traffic. It's just an amazing piece of road and a great adventure for all our people from overseas to come and see inland Australia. A lot of people, a lot of Australians never get out there and see inland Australia. They're happy to fly over it on their way to holiday in Bali, but it's a very special place and uh, we should all get out there more. You know, a lot of people ask me whether solar, solar power is a practical proposition for daily driving. Certainly electric cars is a practical proposition, particularly in the cities, uh, and mobility in the city, in the, even in a beautiful city like Adelaide, uh, it's, it's very clean air, but it's still dirty, polluted air from the diesel and the, and, and the hydrocarbons from the cars. We could all be driving electric cars in the city. We've got, today's technology would give us 160, 200 kilometres range. National average in Australia for commuting, I think, is 30 kilometres. We could be doing that with electric cars. If we put some solar panels on the roof of the car, we could extend that range. Not by much in practical terms, but if we put solar panels on the roof of the house or the garage where the car lives, we can do our 200 k's a day. We don't have to drag the solar panels around with us. Our solar cars and the World Solar Challenge are, are, are incredibly big, but they're incredibly efficient, very technologically advanced electric cars. If that electricity comes from uh, hydrogen fuel cells, onboard batteries, plug-in hybrids, whatever, wherever the electricity comes from, these kids are pushing the absolute boundaries of efficiency for electric cars. We add to that you can only take your power from the sun as you drive along and we bring in that adventure of man versus the elements and a little bit of uncertainty. Will we have cloud? Will we have rain? How's it going to be? It's not until people come and see the event, people look at the documentaries like this one that you're making, that they actually click and say, yes, there is something very special going on here. It needs supporting if it's going to continue. Uh, one thing's certain, it will challenge the bright young people of the planet to come up with some new and innovative ideas of how we can approach our imperatives of reducing our um, fuel consumption, how we can have our daily driving without sacrificing style and quality and the resources of the planet. And a very special message from sunny Adelaide to all of our friends in Twente. We look forward to seeing you later in the year. We wish you well with your preparations and uh, we hope that uh, you will have a great adventure and take home a lifetime of memories from the World Solar Challenge.